want to talk to all of our leaders about something that is not necessarily a pleasant subject, but it's something that we need to understand. And that is the burden of leadership. I hear many young preachers today and many young leaders in the church, not just our church, but around the world saying, you know, they want a life without pressure. Well, there is no such thing. There is a burden of leadership. Now, I want you to listen to how Moses talks about it. Deuteronomy chapter one, beginning with verse nine. Moses continued, at that time I told you, you are too great a burden for me to carry all by myself. The Lord your God has increased your population, making you as numerous as the stars. And may the Lord, the God of our ancestors, multiply you a thousand times more and bless you as he promised. But you are such a heavy load to carry. How can I deal with all your problems and bickering? Choose some well-respected men from each tribe who are known for their wisdom and understanding, and I will appoint them as your leaders. Then you responded, your plan is a good one. So I took the wise and respected men you had selected from your tribes, and I appointed them to serve as judges and officials over you. Some were responsible for a thousand people, some for a hundred, some for fifty, and some for ten. At that time, I instructed the judges, you must hear the cases of your fellow Israelites and the foreigners living among you. Be perfectly fair in your decisions and impartial in all your judgments. Hear the cases of those who are poor as well as those who are rich. Don't be afraid of anyone's anger. For the decisions you make is God's decision. Bring me any cases that are too difficult for you and I will handle them. Now I want you to notice that there is a leadership burden that is too heavy for one person to carry. He says there in verse 9, you are too great a burden for me to carry all by myself. But I would like you to notice what the burden of leadership is. It is not a burden to bring people to the goals that God gave them as a people. It is not a burden for organization and administration and caring for the people. What is the burden? Verse 12, how can I deal with all your problems and your bickering? How can I deal with all your problems and your bickering? The burden of leadership deals, first of all, with the problems of the people. People have problems. They have problems in their marriages. They have problems with their children. They have problems in business. They have problems with other people. People have problems. And they look to leadership to help them solve their problems. Now, the second burden of leadership is bickering. <laughs> he says, how can I deal with all your problems and your bickering? Now, folks, there's very few things in life that are as difficult as carrying the bickering of people, where people are just bickering with each other. Pastor, did you know they're going to vote for Lenny? Pastor, did you know they're going to vote for Marcos? Pastor, did you know they're going to vote for Isco? And you're bickering. You know, we even have members of COP that said that they wanted to punch each other in the nose because of other people's political opinions. Grabe talaga. No, yes, Pastor, are you making us embarrassed? I hope so. But there's very few things in life that are as heavy a burden to carry as the bickering of people. Now, it's not just the people of Israel, even Paul with the church. Philippians chapter 4, verse 2 and 3, he said, I appeal to Utica and Sittiki, because you belong to the Lord, settle your disagreement. And I ask you, my true partner, he's talking to the pastor of the church of Philippi, please help these two women, for they worked hard with me in telling others the good news. They worked along with Clement and the rest of my co-workers whose names are written in the book of life. Paul said, I love these two women. But grabe talaga, they're bickering with each other. Now, beloved, as Connect Group leaders, one of the ways you help me carry the burden of COP, as CS members, as ECS, as fellowship executives, one of the ways you help me carry the burden of leadership is you help people with their individual problems. There are people that just, what do I do with my son? I can't counsel with every family. Pastor, how do I handle my husband? I can't counsel with every marriage in the church. So you help me with the problems. And anything too difficult, you bring to me or you, you bring to one of the pastors. 
But the other way you help us is you help us deal with the bickering. And sometimes connect group leaders, that means you sit down in your connect group and say, folks, this is a political free zone. When the politics is over, Jesus is still Lord and we're still gonna love each other. Do you have that straight now, everybody? Now stop talking about politics. We're here to talk about Jesus. Sometimes as a connect group leader, you just have to tell people, would you stop the bickering? Dealing with everybody's little bickering is a heavy burden to carry. So connect group leaders, one of the ways you help us carry the loads of the people, CS, ECS, fellowship executives, one of the ways you help us deal is not just helping us deal with the problems of the people, but you help us deal with the bickering of the people. And connect group leaders, bickering is something that we have to learn to deal with. We have to learn to help people, as Paul told the pastor of Philippi with Utica and Syntyche, would you please help these two women get along? <laughs> Sometimes connect group leaders, here's my prayer. Would you please help those two connect group members get along with each other and leave their political opinions outside? Would you please help those two connect group members get along with each other and maybe just agree to disagree about that business transaction that they did? Would you just help everybody just get over the bickering and let's have peace? in Jesus' name.